Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, it's the part two of probably quite a few parts in this series. And so in this video, we're going to be having a look at fixing some of the bugs that come with this plane kit. So one of them is actually if I play, if it's facing in a certain direction, it will actually randomly rotate, as you can see, to a certain direction. It's either that way or that way. And uh, I'm, the reason it does this is actually due to the... I go main, it's this gyro thing. And where it says max torque, what you actually want to do is set them all to zero. By doing so, it can't generate any torque, meaning it can't move at all um, until you get in. So as you can see, it's not rotating now. It's uh, staying still and it will still work as a plane because the uh, plane script actually adjusts it so that you can fly it uh, once you get in. So here we go. And as you can see, I can still move. So that's one of the first ones. Uh, I should probably just go back in. One of the other issues is the, when you jump out, uh, so if I jump out like this, it's fine. But I'll go back in. If I jump out with the plane tool equipped, uh, as you can see, my camera's like locked and although it removes the tool, it hasn't sort of removed the GUI and set my camera back to normal. So what we're going to have a look at is if we're going we're gonna to go into the main seat, plane and then main. So this is the main script that controls the flying. And what we're actually going to have a look at is, wait, so when the uh, tool is uh, deselected, it will call this deselected uh, function. So firstly, let's create a local variable referencing the seat. So the way we do that is we can go local seat equals main parts dot main seat. And then when the seat dot occupant is changed, oh, let me see that function. What we'll then do is if there is uh, not a seat dot, I missed my occupant there. Uh, if there's not a seat dot occupant, then it means the player's left the seat, so we're going to run the deselected, uh, which is what is called when the tool is deselected, and it's and we're going to put true as an argument, and what that will then do is also reset our cursor back. If we didn't put true, uh, everything would be fine apart from our cursor would still be the circle from the plane controls. So let's get in. We can still fly as normal, and then if we hop out, there we go, perfect. Uh, we're back to normal. Okay, so finally for this video, what we're going to have a look at is, um, it's a very quick thing. It's just uh, being able to actually see what text is displayed. So what we'll do is we'll drag the uh, plane GUI from the plane tool in main seat into starter GUI. And let's have a look through the panel. So the controls are fine. We can see the text in there. Off. Ah, we can't see the text in there. So we'll go into the text label and we'll set the text color to black, and then you can see it's actually saying engine off. We probably didn't know what that was before because it was just a blank box. So we'll do the same for stool. That's just a blank box. Get the text color to black, and then make it invisible. And uh, finally, I think taxi. So set that to black. There we go. And uh, everything else should be fine because I had a quick look earlier. So let's drag that back into the plane tool. Let's give it a quick test. And there we go. You can see we are taxiing. The engine is now on, so that's gone away. And now what I'll do is just stool. Yeah, as you can see, stool and there we go. So, and we can just hop out because we've uh, fixed that code. Um, thank you for watching. In the next video, what should I do? Shall I do? I'll do tire smoke. Why not? Tire smoke. So yeah, in the next video, I'll show you how to add tire smoke. So when you come into land, there's smoke that comes from the tires. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.